Some of you guys know about my wife, Daniela, but for those of you who don't, she's not just my wife. She's my business partner, the CEO of Oni Studios, and a powerhouse in the industry. She's also the girl who's constantly making fun of me on Twitter. She's a big part of my life, so it's time I tell you guys how we met. It all started when I was living in my parents' house, and during that time, the only thing I was focused on was streaming. It was seriously the only thing that I was thinking about. It was so bad, I even started skipping my college classes to stream. But it was my dream to be a full-time streamer, and I was willing to do anything to make it happen. And at the time, I was gaining a ton of traction by playing a new MMO called Elder Scrolls Online. It was so much fun, and part of the reason was because of the community around it. And so there were a lot of times where I'd get on Twitch and look for ESO streamers to see what the community was up to. And that's how I interacted with Daniela for the first time. On a random day, I was just searching for ESO streamers and happened to see her. I thought she was cute. And I went to her chat and teased her by asking her stupid ESO questions. And I mean the dumbest, most basic questions. And what's funny is when she saw my name in the chat, she immediately knew who I was. And she was like, why is this ESO pro coming to my chat and asking me these dumb questions? And I kept doing it. I would ask her a dumb question and she would comment about it or roast me. We went back and forth for a while until eventually her entire chat started clowning on me. It was hilarious. For them at least. And it didn't mean much to me at the time, but now I look back at that as the start of something that was gonna change my life completely. Because just a few weeks after that, I packed up my stuff, ran away from home, and booked a hotel to pursue streaming full time. And honestly, that was a really low point in my life. Like I had only been away from home for a few hours and my family was already begging me to come back. Also, I was so worried that I'd thrown my future away because I dropped out of school, ran away from home, and my next step was so uncertain. I just needed someone to tell me that I was doing the right thing, that I wasn't wrong about taking a chance on myself. And so I turned on my stream and had a heart to heart with you guys. I told you how I felt and about what I was going through, and you guys encouraged me, which helped a little. But I was dealing with so much self-doubt at the time that it didn't matter how encouraging the chat was because I was having a really hard time believing that my viewers were being genuine. Like chat was being so nice to me, but I couldn't stop thinking, well, of course they're being nice to you. They're not going to tell you to stop streaming, man. Like they like your content. They don't want to see you quit. And so I was really conflicted about what to do. And I was frustrated that I was already second guessing myself. But what I didn't know was that Daniela had just left home as well. And when she saw my stream, she related to it and reached out and sent me a DM. I wanted to share that we're in a similar situation right now. So I know the struggle. Just wanted to say you're not alone. Hope everything is well and hope to see you streaming again soon. And if you need someone to talk to, I'll be here. And that message meant so much to me because after I'd left my parents house, I was at an all time low. I was sad lonely lost so the dm showed up at the perfect time and it didn't come from some random person online it came from someone who i actually knew someone who genuinely cared about me and my future and daniela said all of the perfect things she made me feel like i wasn't alone and she gave me someone to talk to and that's all i really needed and so we started talking and during the first conversation i vented about issues with my parents finding an apartment being on my own and she gave me the encouragement that I needed. She told me that I was doing the right thing and that I should pursue my dreams. And that was really something I needed to hear. And from that moment, I knew that this girl was special and I couldn't wait to get to know her more. And so we kept talking and talking and talking, message after message after message. And eventually Daniela was like, look, I like you and I think you're cute, but I don't wanna waste my time. So are you interested in pursuing a relationship? Uh, th this was terrifying because up until this point, I had no experience with girls, no serious relationships, but I liked her and I thought it was cool that she made the first move. So obviously I said yes. And so after that, we started talking every single day. Like the moment I'd hop off stream, I'd get on FaceTime to talk to her. Before this, the only thing I was thinking about was streaming, but now I was thinking about her. So we talked almost every day for like 
five months straight. And as each month went by, we got to know each other more and more. It felt like we were in our very own romance novel, but like with a lot more gaming. I don't, I don't really read romance novels. Pretty soon, I think we could both tell we had something special. But that's when Daniela dropped a bomb on me out of nowhere. She said that she loved me. And I was completely caught off guard by that. And so I didn't say it back right away. And I know what you're thinking. Cypher, you didn't say it back? No, I didn't. Like, not at first. I was a scared kid, okay? I needed time to figure this out. But I did say, I love YouTube really fast to troll her. <laughs> it was funny. But eventually I said, I love you. And after that, we figured it was time to meet in person. And at the time, Daniela was in Florida. So I flew out to meet her in Miami. And guys, I was so nervous and feeling super shy. Like she was my very first girlfriend. And so it was a pretty intense moment for me. We spent like 20 minutes on the phone trying to find each other until Daniela finally figured out she drove to the wrong airport. It was funny, but at the same time, I kind of felt like I was being catfish. But finally, we got to meet for the first time. And because we had spent every waking hour on the phone talking to each other about everything, being together in person felt normal. And after the initial shock of seeing each other for the first time, we were completely comfortable with each other. By the time we left the airport, the only thing that was open was Olive Garden. And so that's where we went for our first official date. I guess those endless breadsticks came in clutch. Over the next two years, we traveled across the country to see each other, sometimes in Austin, sometimes in Florida, other times at conventions like TwitchCon and PAX. And it was always worth the trip to see her. But being in a relationship that's long distance was really hard. Traveling to see her was always so tiring and I was always so exhausted by the time I got there. And when it was time for me to leave, I didn't want to say goodbye. Like there was never enough time. And so we started talking about ways that we could spend more time together. So we started talking about moving in together, which was a life changing decision for us because we had to decide if we were going to move to Austin or if I was going to move to Florida. There was a lot to talk about, but we eventually decided to get an apartment together in Austin. And so I planned one last cross country trip to Florida to pack all of Danielle's stuff up for the move. And as I was planning the trip, I really began to think back on our relationship. And as I look back, I saw how good we were for each other. Our personalities complement each other perfectly. Like I'm a go with the flow type of guy, but Daniela is a planner. So when things get out of control, I can keep things calm while Daniela makes a plan to solve things. We're like yin and yang. She's my partner in crime. And the longer I reflected on this, the more I realized I wanted to marry her. Now I know it might seem crazy at this point and now I'm the one speeding things up. Like we haven't even moved in together and I, it's crazy and wild, but all I'm gonna say is I just knew she was the one. And so I bought a ring and figured the trip to Florida was the perfect time for me to ask her to marry me. But my parents were not a fan of that idea. I think they were just concerned with the fact that I had met this girl online and it just wasn't normal to them. Like they literally wanted her to get a background check. And on top of that, there was a lot of cultural differences between our families. Like I'm from Middle Eastern descent and Daniela is Colombian. And so my parents were just worried that we were too different and that it wouldn't work out. Like, come on guys, get with the times. I took their advice seriously, but I'd made up my mind. Because at this point, my parents kind of had a pattern of not approving of the things I wanted to do. But I pursued streaming against their will, and so I was also going to pursue Daniela. So when I got to Florida, I took Daniela to the beach because my plan was to propose to her there. I was super nervous, but I had this whole thing planned out. I took the ring out of the ring box and put it in my shorts because my pockets were super small and I was afraid Daniela would see it. And while we walked on the beach, I just waited for the right moment to propose. And just as I was about to do it, Daniela was like, let's get into the water. But I was freaking out because I had the ring in my pocket and I didn't want to lose it. Nah, the water is cold. Let's go, it'll be fun. And then she started dragging me into the water. And so the water was up to my chest and Daniela is jumping on top of me and splashing me and the whole time I'm keeping my hand pressed down on my shorts and I'm thinking, don't lose the ring, please don't lose the ring. I was so terrified. 
But we got out and the ring was still there. And so I told Daniela that we should go on a walk. And as we're walking, my heart is just pounding because of how nervous I was. But finally, I worked up the nerve to get on one knee and propose. And then I told her, listen, this is going to be a big moment for our lives. We're moving in together. And so I feel like this is the right time. Will you marry me? And she actually said yes. The next day we drove 20 hours from Florida to Austin to finally start our lives together. But then reality set in. We quickly found out that living together was not going to be easy. It didn't take long for Daniela to figure out how much I needed to learn. Like, I don't know how to explain to you guys how much of a child I was back then. I had to learn a ton about cleanliness and organization. I didn't know how to use the dishwasher or the washer or about basic finances. And my sleep schedule was crazy. Daniela had to basically give me a crash course on adulthood. But we were both going through a lot during that time. At that point, my channel was sort of in a decline because there wasn't a new game that I was into and things were getting kind of stale. And so I didn't necessarily have a direction of where I wanted to take my content. And Daniela wasn't feeling super passionate about the job that she had. Like she was just going to work until she could go back to school. So we were both searching for what was going to come next, but we weren't sure what that was going to be. But we kept each other motivated and pushed each other forward by keeping a daily routine. I'd start my stream after Daniela left for work and I'd stream all day until she came back home. And once she was home, we'd spend some time together. It was super chill. I had my thing. Daniela had her thing and it was great. But literally everything changed when Fortnite happened. And obviously I didn't know how big it was going to be at the time, but I did see the potential of it and I liked playing it. Pretty soon the game started to pop off and then my channel began to pick up more traction. And before I knew it, Fortnite was completely consuming my life. Like it was a crazy time for Danielle and I because while Fortnite was blowing up, we got married. And so now I had to maintain a marriage during the craziest time of my life. And that was super hard because we were literally working all of the time. We were both getting up at like 6 a.m., working all day and then going to bed. And that was our lives for like eight months straight. And what made it worse was that we never really got to spend time together. And when we did, we were way too exhausted to even do anything. So we both had a thought. If we both are spending all our time working, why not find a way to do that together? And so Daniela established Oni Studios to help support us, to make sure our hard work didn't go to waste and to give us more time together. It's amazing to see all the things that we've accomplished. And it's all because we supported each other and never lost sight of our dreams. And that's why I'm so thankful to have Daniela in my life. And I'd retell that story any day. Thank you so much for watching.